Hey there, so today um, we are a little bit late, about 10 minutes because of me and because of technology. I'm using OBS and I'm still getting myself used to it. But today's session uh, we are going to cover the topic called priority table and it's a part of energy reduction principle. Um, energy reduction principle has four parts that I have already covered in one of the free, uh, past videos, past webinars. And this is the fifth part that completes the energy re reduction mechanism. And that's called a priority table. So <clears throat> let me change the scene. Um, okay. Right. So so when we are applying the energy reduction mechanism, right? Energy reduction, it has four parts set, uh, extremely high impractical goal. I've already covered that before. And the next stage is to focus on reducing the energy required to achieve the goal, right? And then third and fourth part are related to how the psychology works you have to declare the goal and then you have to visualize pain on daily basis right now the fifth part the priority table now in when you are trying to achieve a large goal there are multiple strategies that can be applied and you won't know which strategy is going to produce the most results your goal is to make the quickest pro biggest progress and quickest progress in sh with using least amount of resources time money and other types of resources right so that's where the priority table comes in to play and so let's say <clears throat> you have multiple strategies strategy one strategy two strategy three or task one task two task three right so let me change this scene again okay Okay, so, so now you have to create a table basically. So let's say you have several tasks or several strategies that you want to execute in order to make progress towards the goal. So what you need to do before executing those strategies or tasks, you need to figure out their priority. And the way you do it is that you identify the investments that the task is going to take or the strategy execution is going to take and then you figure out the returns so i stands for the investments and r stands for the returns now there can be multiple types of investments into the task or the strategy <clears throat> Right, and there can be multiple types of returns from that strategy. So, what can be the type of investments? Investments can be the type of uh, the type of what type of uh, how much money or how much cost it's going to take. That can be one investment. Another investment can be <coughs> the um, how much time it's going to take. Right. And then another type of investment can be what are the risks failure right failure probability or risk probability right so there there can be multiple types of uh, investments depending on you know other types of resources that it's going to take consume so that's all the uh, investment part now, what type of uh, returns, right? So returns can be of multiple types as well. 
so let's color the returns using a different color so returns can be um, how much revenue it will gen how uh, how much the revenue will be increased by how much, right? Or the profits will be increased by how much? The revenue or the profits or what will be the quality? How much enhancement in the quality? Future quality, right? Quality of execution or, or quality of the product or quality of whatever you are trying to work on, right? The speed, how, by how much the, the future speed is going to increase. Future speed of the progress that you are making towards the goal. Is going to increase and then how much will be the cost reduction future cost reduction <clears throat> right so there can be multiple types of returns depending on what strategy you are executing there can be different types of investments and different types of returns so you have to identify what type of investments the strategy or task is taking and what type of returns that strategy or task is producing right and then you have to give points to each of the returns and investments you have to give points between 1 and 10 right so in terms of returns the higher the returns will be the closer the number will be towards 10 for example returns the one of the strategies it might not produce as much return so uh, returns is like three profits won't be as much so like three but it will improve the quality quality of uh, your execution whatever you're doing right so let's say it gives you give it eight and then it will increase the speed of, uh, as well so let's give it nine and then future cost reduction it will reduce your cost because your quality and speed is increasing so let's give it 10 in terms of cost in terms of investments, you have to uh, do it in the reverse order. The higher the cost will be, the closer the number will be towards one, right? So let's say the cost is uh, it's con it's going to consume a little bit of cost, right? So let's give it seven. It's going to take some cost. How much time it's going to take? It's not going to take as much time. So let's give it six. Risk, there is absolutely no risk because you know what you are doing or something like that right so let's give it three no risk at all right <coughs> excuse me <laughs> um the higher the um yeah uh, so so the higher so uh, the lower the risk the higher the number right so the risk is not as much so let's give it seven right so uh, and resources it's um, not consuming as uh, it's not consuming as much resources so let's give it nine right now you have all these numbers now uh, you just have to do simple math you, uh, you can just multiply all these numbers together right and you will get a priority score a priority score right priority score so this priority score you calculate this priority score for all these different strategies right and <clears throat> based on the priority score that you get you execute those uh, procedures or tasks in that order the higher the priority score the um, higher the priority for the task so you in you execute that task early on the higher the priority and this particular technique mostly all business owners I wouldn't say all of them but many of them deploy in order to figure out which of the uh, tasks are most uh, more important and especially those people who get results after uh, who need to do a lot of hard work in order to get results so for example people who build funnels they need to deal with just giving you one example right 
so they need to do with uh, they need to do a lot of <clears throat> work in building website page landing page website page landing page and then they have to do a lot of work in creating videos or content <clears throat> right and then they work on multiple types of these funnels and each funnel takes them a good amount of time like it takes them uh, you know one week of time one week or two weeks of time and they need to execute 50 of such experiments iterations 50 experiments uh, uh, 50 different funnels and then they need to work on um, you know for each experiment they have to do you know uh, at least 30 improvement iterations 30 improvement iterations so you know there are like for 50 experiments there are 18 or 1500 improvement iterations so it's a lot of work right and sure they make a lot of money as well they they produce a huge amount of money which is why they are willing to do as much work right but the point is that when they are doing all these things they build a priority table they create a priority table to maximize the output that they are going to get and this optimization you need to perform when you are trying to make breakthroughs in your life so uh, that's it for today's topic so it was very very short 10 minutes topic but just to recap one more time so when you are applying energy reduction principle the fifth part that completes the energy reduction principle is the priority table and priority table provides you with the tasks that you need to perform in the order of specific priority and every task has some investments and some returns so you need to identify which investments the task has and what type of returns the task has and you have to create the columns accordingly right and for each task task 1 task 2 task 3 for each task you have to score the returns the higher the returns the higher the score will be out of 1 to 10 <clears throat> and the lower the uh, returns the lower the score will be out of 1 to 10 and for investments as well the lower the investments the higher the score will be and the higher the investments the lower the score will be and once you get all these numbers you multiply them and you get a priority score and you execute the tasks in the order of priority the tasks that are producing most returns and require least investments those tasks need to be executed first tasks that require <clears throat> least investments and most uh, uh, produces most returns need to be executed first And many people feel like they can just prioritize the task using common sense. They don't need to calculate all these numbers. So let me clarify. Sure, for some type of tasks, it's very clear, it's visually clear that, okay, this task is going to take lesser investment and produce more uh, returns. And this task is going to take a lot more investments and will not produce as good results some many tasks uh, make it very very clear however when we are talking about 
at a lower level tasks uh, detail uh, the tasks that you know we are executing at a low level when we are executing tasks when we are deciding the priority of higher level tasks then of course the picture is clear immediately because usually the difference between the returns and investments of those tasks is huge and it's clear to our logical mind instantly without even thinking much about it but then there are tasks which um are uh, b uh, between which the um, difference is not as clear right away so in those type of tasks we need to calculate we need to go a little bit more granular more detailed and we need to calculate the numbers to the best precision as possible right so this priority table is extremely important when we are trying to work on a large goal so that's it for today's video so any questions from Hafiz your uh, your mic is too far can you hear me now yeah uh, the topic was clear enough so it was just a part of the energy reduction principle uh -huh. uh, so it's basically the priority table which needs to be created right? so uh -huh. there is an investment part and the return part right So, so, um, so, I I didn't understand your question. Your question is, uh, uh this energy, uh, this priority table is executed when uh, we have a larger business with multiple people. Is that the question? Yes, yes, like that. This, uh, so this energy, uh, this priority table needs to be executed even when you are only the only person. So this this um priority table. So the question is. When exactly do we need to um, implement the priority table? Uh, do we need to implement the priority table when we are the only person in the company or the business or trying to achieve any particular goal or when there are multiple people? And the answer to that question is in both situations. You need to apply priority table in both situations. No, this is the first step. First is that it is the like this principle I wanted to say. Yeah, it's a it. It's it's the is the first step that it's one of the first steps that we need to take when we are deciding what tasks are going to produce the maximum results. We calculate the priority table. <coughs> We calculate uh, initially when we are doing it for the first time, we won't have as much experience on, you know, uh, what type of returns, what type of investments it's producing. So we are going to have some vague numbers that won't be accurate, but we calculate those numbers either way. And then when we actually execute the task, then we realize that, okay, this task was taking a lot more energy and was not producing as much results. So we update the priority table later on and we get a feedback that our assumptions were wrong and then we improve the iterations on calculating the priority uh, priority table again and again. As we... So it's like, uh, you know, uh, like, yes, assumptions, like, you uh, put 10 assumptions where we, you know, prioritize, the, like if I prioritize time or risk or resource, yeah, priority table does not take like, you know, many days to calculate. It takes only 15 minutes, 30 minutes of brainstorming. 
uh, 10 minutes of brainstorming and so you need to be uh, doing priority table like every every month or every week or every two months every few weeks basically so based on the performance that you generate out of the priority table you update the priority table again and based on the new strategies that you come up with the new tasks that you need to perform you update the priority table again and again and with time your priority table calculations become more and more precise and that optimizes the progress towards your growth towards your goal